This is the verdict Nicola Sturgeon had been waiting for, and I think over the last couple of days, the mood music suggested that it was one that she would get. Basically what's happened is that the eminent Irish barrister who's conducted this inquiry has acquitted her. Okay, it wasn't a, it wasn't a trial, it wasn't criminal charges, but he's found that she wasn't guilty of misleading the Scottish Parliament on any of the charges laid against her. It's a huge surprise to me that there's not a word of criticism anywhere that I can find. And I'll, I confess, I've only just got the report, uh, any word of criticism in that report of her behaviour. I saw quite a bit of the public evidence taken in this uh, case, but I didn't see any of Mr Hamilton's evidence because everything he did, he took in private. It's um, an amazing uh, victory for her. The um, pressure has been under uh, Nicholas Sturgeon quite ferociously for some time, but this will be a huge uh, uh, victory she will see, uh, and so will her reporters. However, there are still people who will not believe that she deserves this. Her opponents in particular will think that she is still damaged goods, having been criticised heavily by the Parliamentary Committee, which we are due to see uh, its report tomorrow. But as she goes into an election campaign, which starts in six weeks, it's a huge fillip to her uh, to her case. She'll say, look, I don't care what the Tories say, I don't care what Labour says, I don't care what anyone says, I have this very uh, important report by an eminent Irish barrister who says I did not mislead the Parliament and I did not breach the ministerial code. If she'd been forced to resign, the SNP would have been in Queer Street, frankly, they would have had to appoint a new leader and get uh, that person to take them into a, a really bitter election campaign. And it is, Nicola Sturgeon will uh, be able to continue with her um, plans to get a big majority of seats in that, in that parliament.